Hello. Today we're going to look at another paper here. We're going to look at Friday the 8th of November 2019. We're going to look at this. We're going to split up the papers yet again. We're going to look at each question. I'll do a mind map for each question and then we'll post this up for you. So let's just look at the first one again. The usual things here. This will be an hour long paper. It'll take us a lot longer than an hour to do this. But again, it takes time to learn. So just recap. November 19, higher tier. And the first question is on pressure. So let's do a quick recap on pressure through a mind map. So, and again, we'll teach enough for this one question. So I'll just pull this question and set it over here. We'll just do a quick mind map for pressure. Again, you can use this mind map for uh, revision. You can do whatever you like with it, but again, that's up to you. So it takes time to study. So we're going to look at pressure. Again, if you looked at the last set of videos, we had one on pressure as well, but this is a lot of this will be the same, but again, it's good revision. So pressure, things like atmospheric pressure, blood pressure, uh, tire pressure. These are all the sort of things for pressure. So again, measured in newtons per meter squared, newtons per meter squared. Do you see the way that's the same as that? Bring it up and the indice changes. They're also known as Pascals. Pascals, the same thing. P I C I L, a Pascal. Like one Newton per meter squared is equal to a Pascal. And then you have kilopascals and all that goes with it. So, pressure definition is the force over the area. That's the definition. Again, force measured in Newtons. Area measured in meters squared. And a couple of simple relationships. Um, uh, what's the relationship between pressure in Newtons per meter squared and force? Well, they are directly proportional, so it goes through the origin like that. Again, the area here is constant. What's the link between the pressure, Newtons per meter squared, and area measured in meter squared? Well, it's inversely proportional. So let's just look at this. So as the area gets bigger, the pressure gets smaller. As the area gets bigger, the pressure gets smaller. You can see that. That's an inversely proportional. So P is proportional to 1 over A and P is proportional to F. They're directly proportional. So that's more or less it. Um, is there anything else we need here to do this question? Not that I can think of. No, so now we'll have a look at the question. So here's the question. Again, read the whole question. It takes time to read it. Don't scan it, read it. There's a difference in the two. A hydraulic press is used to crush various items in a recycling plant. A force of 3,000 newtons causes the hydraulic press to exert a pressure of 2,000 pascals. Kill the area of the press and include the unit. Now there's four marks here. Four marks. Yeah. So the four marks, so let's see what we've got. We've got a force, that's all right, it's in newtons. We've got a pressure, it's in pascals, that's grand. So let's start her off, pressure equals force over area. We know the pressure, we know the force, we want to find the area. So we need to rearrange this formula. So try 12 is equal to 12 over 2 is equal to 6. So the 6 is P, the 12 is F, and A is 2. So we know that 12 is equal to 6 times 2. We know that 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. 
you keep talking to yourself. Nothing wrong with talking to yourself. And then this helps you think. So I have to rearrange that. Look, the area is two. So the area is equal to the force over the pressure. You can have one of those triangles you want, but I'm not recommending that. So what's the force? 3,000 newtons over the area. Well, we're looking at the area. Um, the pressure is, the force is 3,000. The pressure is 2,000. Now again, take the calculator. Do all your calculations twice in the calculator. So we're looking 3,000 divided by 2,000. So I know it's one in the bit, 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 and always do the calculations twice, just in case you hit the wrong button. 1.5 meters squared. So it's 1.5 meters squared. So there's that question done. Have we got the four marks? Unit, answer, calculation and formula. So there's our four marks that's here. Don't rub this out. This is your working out. This is your paper. Never cross anything out on an exam paper. So let's look at the second part. It says farm vehicles, all the John Deere drivers now are going book mad and say grade should be kept in the shed. Farm vehicles are, des are designed so that they do not sink into soft ground. Which of the following design features would help to ensure this? So in other words, we're going to look at the pressure. So there's no reason that we can't write down pressure equals force over area. So I want the pressure small. So I want the force small. I want the weight small. I want the area big. Remember, big area, small pressure. Small area, big pressure. They're inversely proportional loads. These are directly proportional. Pressure and force are directly proportional. So I want to make the farm vehicle have a low pressure. So I must keep the weight small. Weight is force. I must keep the area large. Now, it would be handy to have the centre of gravity low, but that's nothing to do with the pressure. So therefore, there's your two ticks for your two marks. So there's question one done. You go to the CA website, you print it off. You do it. Learn from each, one, each question that you do. I'll see you shortly when we do question number two.